Friends, uh, I want to extend a warm welcome to all of you and uh, Professor Achyuta Samanta, who uh, has founded the Kalinga Institute of Industrial Technology, KIIT, and also the Kalinga Institute of Social Sciences, popularly known as KISS in Bhuvaneshwar. Starting with an initial seed capital of rupees 5,000, KIT has now grown into one of the most promising universities imparting professional education in India with global acclaim having 27,000 students from across India and 50 other countries. KIT also runs a 2,000 bedded multi-special hospital and an attached uh, medical college. KISS has become the largest residential tribal institute in the world and is the home to 35,000 tribal children. Both KIT and KISS figure in the Guinness Book of World Records and also the Linka Book of Records on several songs. Professor Samantha lost his father at the age of four and was pushed into the mind of abject poverty. Today, he is a legend, an iconic educationist, an emblem of service to humanity, a beacon of light for social transformation, and a redeemer of the fallen, the oppressed, and the marginalized. Friends, as you know, every fourth Indian belongs to either a scheduled caste or a scheduled tribe. That means every fourth person. And he's trying to improve a lot of those people at the bottom of India's social ladder. After obtaining a master's degree in chemistry in 1987 from Utkal University in Bhuvaneshwar, Professor Samantha started his teaching career at the age of 22. He went on to serve Kit as its first chancellor and has had the distinction of being the youngest chancellor of any Indian university. He served the University Grants Commission, UGC, as a member for two consecutive terms and was a member of the Executive Committee of All India Council for Technical Education. Presently, he is the General President of the Indian Science Congress Association. He has been conferred with 20, uh, 33 honoris causa doctorate awards from different universities across the globe. He has also been decorated with over 50 national and international prestigious civilian awards and over 200 state honors and accolades. Professor Samantha is now working to establish 12 branches of KISS in different districts in Odisha. KISS Delhi has been operational for several years. We have a lady from KISS Delhi here. Welcome to you. Besides providing direct employment around 10,000 men and women in kit and kits, Professor Samantha has helped create indirect employment for over 100,000 people. He has also helped over 100 successful entrepreneurs across India. And his dream is India with zero poverty, zero hunger, and zero illiteracy. And don't be surprised if uh, before too long he gets recognition as a you know, Nobel Prize for Peace or something because there are two people who deserve the Nobel for Peace in India. I think that Samad is one of them and the other one is Bindeshwari Patra. They have been doing excellent work. I won't take any more time now. So may I request you, Professor Samantha, to say what you want to say. So, good evening, 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 good evening,
other corresponding cloud and other inverted layers. At the outset, it's my great pleasure to express my thanks that it is to S. Enkadilanji for inviting you all to this auspicious evening and also to give me an opportunity to meet you all, to interact with all of you and also to convey my activity I have been doing for the last 27 years. Constantly. So, Sarah has been to our place before a few months. That is good nice, sir. So, um, he was hearing about my activities from different sources, in particular from Gandhara Messi, who is also a journalist from Hyderabad. So, he was very much curious that whatever he was telling Gandhara Messi, I have it is true, whether it is possible on this materialistic age model age that one man can execute so much on these things. And he was not at all believing Gandhara Messi was. So I also met him twice, thrice in Delhi. So I also requested him, why not you uh, see these things in your own eyes? Because Almighty has created such type of things only until one we see one not believe it, particularly in our case. So anyhow, thanks to him, he had been to our place and spent good amount of time and saw and type things in the so from that time, from that day, he was telling me, I should invite you uh, once to ventilate your entire things before our correspondence, and particularly in this foreign correspondence club, etc. So today that day <coughs> is now materialized for this time. Before uh, one month also, he planned what I was not well a uh, little bit because of my spine injury followed by spine operation. I was completely on bed rest for two months. <laughs> Today is the first day I came from Professor and standing before all of you for deliberation after a gap of three to four months. Because from 9th September I was on complete bed rest <laughs> because of my spine injury. So first I came to Delhi and just to for deliberations before the people like you. So, and secondly, <coughs> uh, as you people, those were in this media line, from abroad, from India, etc. For you people, one glance is enough to know what is where, where is where, when is where, who is who. Because uh, after seeing you all, I thought I should not be more explainable to all of you and give you so much of time. But one thing I can say <coughs> from the beginning that um, yes, Venkanaraji told me that you should come and tell about your about you and about your entire activity. It is very interesting things. Even I am myself is also very much astonished always. How all these things are possible on the part of a human being like me? Coming from such a wretched condition, before the childhood, so struggleful life from the age of four, before all these things. And my activities have been visited by almost all the policy makers of the country and many other countries, including His Holiness Dalai Lama, or the President, Prime Minister, Vice President of India, and many other countries, Prime Minister, 42 Nobel Prize, all. But they all visited this place, though Bhubaneswar is not so visible. Nowadays it is a little bit visible, not so visible. But still it has been visited, this work, almost all. <coughs> and everybody gets mesmerization and amazed how it is possible. So that's why I used to say in a simple way, my humble way, that it is created by the Almighty. I am just medium or instrument to implement the thing. Which is true. 
and everybody also accepts that things, including the Dalai, his holiness Dalai Lama, everybody accepts that practically unless until there is a direct blessing of Almighty or God, it will not have been possible on the part of the human being like Dr. Saman, who has given his entire life for his God in the state like Odisha. So here I am standing just to show you some video clips, not to speak more before you Elish people or the intelligent people. So by the by showing some video clippings about me, about my work, etc. Uh, after that, if you have any questions in your mind, etc. So I will um, go a little bit quick forwarding the entire things here. But video clippings and video clippings. So I have uh, given my uh, because now also we said so many things in my training. Uh, in the last nine months, I have become also a member of Parliament Association from my state. That's why it is irritating. Leave speaker to a policy maker. <coughs> that how one boy was collecting leave under the tree. Mm -hmm. When we were about 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 years old, along with his brother, mother and sisters. And the same boy from that. <coughs> collecting leaves and doing so much many other jobs in childhood. I've been blessed by God to be a policy maker at this young age also. Which year? Yeah. 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 Particularly yeah. I was collecting banyan tree. Barga Chizogote banyan tree. Practically. Uh, because um, 71 and 99, there are two major cyclones in Odisha. So most of the old trees are uprooted. 71, when I was only 6 years old, and 99, so recently, all of you must be going. So uh, I have um, classified my entire childhood till death in three columns. That is written in the pain in the past, pain in the past and passion in the present. Because of these two things, pain and passion, with me, I am standing here before all of you. So let us see just five minutes video clippings, what is pain in the past. Or you may not understand many of these things, I hope so. But you don't underestimate even a single word is false or exaggerated. But rather you can make up your mind the word you see or the one video clippings, clips you are seeing, you can multiply with 100. That is true. So let us see just how this doctor summoned childhood was from the age of four till up to the age of 20, 21, etc. went on. And this type of childhood I know you might not have seen with anybody you are meeting till then. So anyhow, let us see if you will two video clippings of five minutes, my childhood stories. When he was only four years old, his father died in the same place The incident shattered the whole family. Consequently, his mother, with her seven siblings, shifted from the city of Jimshedpur to the native village Solaramanka in Kapan district. With no income at hand to fall back upon, the family starved for days and the widowed mother was at a wit's end as to how to sustain the city. The hapless mother, 
struggling to fight poverty, could hardly imagine of sending her children to school for education. The young boy Achuto would spend his spare time playing with other children of the village who didn't go to school. One day, while playing, a noisy boy strayed into the village primary school. Disturbed by such trespassing by the local village kids, the school teacher came out and caught hold of a tutor while the other children could flee away from the place. And upon learning how poor the family was to afford education, facilitated his admission in the school. The young Achuta went to school regularly. One day, the young Samantha, unaware of his mother's design, took a morsel from the food set apart for the elder sibling. Mother got terribly upset and hit him, which wounded him in the eye. <laughs> the young Achuta Samantha rendered a helping hand in collecting dry leaves which he sold to other households in the village to augment the family's slender income. The meager income of the widowed mother could barely manage one square meal a day. Some days even passed without one. The heartbroken mother had to send away other siblings to far and near relatives and chose to keep the young Achuta Samantha and his youngest daughter with her. No electricity was available in the dilapidated flat roofed house where the family sheltered. The family's income could hardly afford enough fuel for kerosene lamp. Despite starvation, the young Achuta Samantha focused on his studies with the divine conviction that this fire of poverty can be eradicated through education only. <coughs> Achuta Samantha, after completing his primary education, went to study at Raghunathpur High School, which was eight kilometers away from home. Finding no option for livelihood, the family took to parboiling a paddy for the village households. The boy Achuta Samantha would collect paddy from the households for parboiling. After shelling and winnowing, the child Achuta would deliver the finished rice and the dough stayed to the households. To augment the family's income, the boy Achuta Samantha also grew vegetable crops on the land in the backyard. He used to carry the produce to market far off and sell them. Often on his way back home, he would fetch groceries and other household articles in the market for his folks who trusted him for his honesty and sincerity. Despite working hard to augment families' income, the boy Achuta Samantha would make out time for study. Soon, he completed high school education and went on to complete his graduation in SCS College Puri and post-graduation in chemistry in Uttal University at Bhubaneswar. Thank you very much. This was the reality. And we can really take off it was not like globalization at the end of the center before 45-50 years. How to look at the situation of 
the state of what he said. He only said, still considered by new people as the poor state. But to that, the situation of what he said, and one remote village of here, and you have seen how the poverty, hunger, struggle for life, how education starts by the by, by chance. So this is the small things, and I usually <coughs> describe the poverty because I have been invited to the forum to address the government based motivation speaker because of my hardships in the past and the achievements in the present, and because of my very simple and humble things in me, because of these three things. Uh, I have been always invited, but I rarely choose anyone because of my very busy civil work. So I used to tell the people that you know, we had seen everything, but uh, we are so poor that we all seven brothers and sisters and your mother were not giving one square meal in two days. And my mother had no second pair of sari to change after birth. So that type of poverty we had seen. And God is very kind to all of us. All of us are educated. Even I am happy, though I did all these things in my childhood, but still I am so grateful to God. I have been always first class in my career, starting from matriculation up to the post graduation. Besides my all these things I have faced. So anyhow, um, this is one thing. Because of this session, I had with me. So when I joined after my master's program in chemistry, and it was always in my mind to do something for the poor people. But you can think of neither I had background nor I had backing in banking. And in those days, practically time is very important for everybody. Time is very important. So when we could think of in Odisha state particularly, 91-92. And there is no concept of Odisha outside Odisha. There is no concept of education even for the general students. What about the tribals? So any of these shortcut, uh, it was entire things, his blessings for us. So I was doing my lectureship job in chemistry in our college in Bogdansa, so uh, I thought of starting something. So it is totally his blessings. I can say it is totally his blessings. I started both the organizations at the same time, in two rented houses, in practical with only 5,000 rupees in my pocket. Because I had never thought of that God will allow me to reach up to this position <laughs> when I started. The way the beggars can uh, sooner, have, sooner think of having the dinner or lunch with celebrating the Star Hotel. When I started both the organizations with 5,000 rupees in my pocket, I was much worse than a beggar. So just like I started, one small to both the organizations, one is key, already Sarah stored, one is keys, already Sarah stored, both the organizations. Because I was in the mind that if key to it really takes place, then automatically my ambition key should take place. And God has fulfilled that things. So it was a Hopkinian tax, starting in a uh, hundred US dollar or five thousand rupees in two rented house, both the organizations and coming. If, when I write my book or people have already started writing my book. Then you can easily know so many things. So in shortcut, uh, I will um, start both the organizations in real sense. And the first I am showing you KIS, which has become the beauty of the entire world really. KIT like institute all over the country or world, there is nothing so much credit. Only we had a struggleful life to bring KIT up to this position. But KIS is nowhere in this entire world, entire world. Nobody has thought of to bring the tribal children from their dense forest and to give them decent life. And that to concept is so nice concept. Nowhere till today in this entire world has thought of such type of nice concept. Once they join the league with the high resolution job in the hands, KG to PG. Once they join the league with the high resolution and job in the hands. And you know the tribals, 92, 93, how they live. They live just like animals with the animals in the text forest. Nowadays, it is a globalization with so many things, so many other activities, so many things. Even a small news comes, so many people will uh, rush to you know, that poor poor payment. All these things now are very possible. So, now people are analyzing and they are telling 
that way you start a natural activity, you can think of it, put there to bring the study of children, indigenous children from the respective places and to put them in the conditioning from the surf. All these things are there, which are fully, fully, fully residential. So uh, it has started from 150 study of children, now it touches 50,000 for children. 15,000 alumni already passed out. They are also settled. In kids or kids? Kids, yeah, yeah. kids, yes, kids. I am telling about only tribal. Kids. Kaling is social science. So, Nitha uh, class, kids prayer class, one minute, minute you can see the prayer class, then we will again explain you. Kalinga Institute of Social Sciences Case Bhubaneswar, India, the world's largest fully free residential educational institute and home for 25,000 poorest of the poor tribal children, including 15,000 girls, providing comprehensive and complete education from kindergarten to post-graduation with vocational and all-round skills empowerment. KISS has been fulfilling the Millennium Development Goals and the SDGs of the United Nations Organization, transforming tax consumers into taxpayers, creating social assets and agents of change. KISS is a unique educational initiative for social transformation and peace. This is uh, just one minute prayer class every day takes place, how these 47,000 children and in the campus from standard one to master's programs and all these things. And um, so many good things are there. I, mean, I should not take much time telling you so many good things. Main things I can say it has been accepted the most successful model in the country because of zero dropout, because of all solutions to a poor child in one place. Every state, every policy maker is interested how it is possible to all these things. And th these are the points, I love that point you all know. These are the main things you can say. Odisha and other states affected by Naksaliji Mahaji. And Naksaliji Mahaji is nothing but the frustration of the tribal children. Nothing else. There is no tribal like anything uh, from the age of 14 onwards. <coughs> so it has arrested, and you can see in the last five years, our few Odia people are also sitting here. Nostalgia has come down to almost negligible in Odisha state because of 50,000 children have been taken care of. If this 40,000, now 10,000 are coming in 10 tribal districts of Odisha, 5,000 would have been joined in Nostalgia, 5,000 would have been the human trafficking, 5,000 would have been died after the malnutrition disease, at last they would have been the diabetes or whatever the things. And all these things, <coughs> deforestation, all these, things, many things would have been happened, uh, I can say. And it is between half education in my age school. Half education is more harmful than no education uh, for the coming days for India. The children are taught in 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th standard of school. You can see, even government can arrest the terrorism. Government cannot arrest the half educated boys and girls moving without anything in their hands. So that's it is such a nice concept. You cannot find any poor child in any part of the globe. That the children are totally persuaded, graduated, and they are living with a job. Most, most of them are getting the government job and 10 to 20 percent act like change agent in their own areas because their reservation policy in both central government, state government, all these governments and the quality products are coming and there are so many things how the, for the last 15 years we are getting 100 percent pass out in 10 to 12 board so many things there is not a single not even academic hour which our children are not getting I can show another two three minutes you can easily show, can understand how they have been taken care of in which decent conditions, these uh, two, three video clippings, uh, after which National Geography Channel has been telecasting this um, biggest kitchen in this mega kitchen.
India's Mega Kitchens, a brand new season. Monday, 10 p.m. on Nanjia. Fifteen thousand five hundred students of Galera Institute of Social Sciences, Bhubaneswar. The celebration is one record. By four weeks, the world's largest awareness ribbon on first of December 2016. Let's see how they're looking. <laughs>
Suppose this year kit has given 50 crores. There are 10,000 permanent staff, 5,000 temporary staff. Every staff willingly donates 3 percent of the gross salary. We are getting 5 to 6 crores. 200 to 300 people, those are doing business with kids, they also donate 3 percent of the net profit. And few elite guardians, those are putting their sons and doctors, particularly in engineering and medicine and kit industry, they also donate after knowing me. 20,000, 30,000, 50,000, 1 lakh, etc. In this way, we are covering 90% of the recovery expenditure for the entire case. And 10% we are getting donation in the last 3 to 4 years. The people now, those who know me personally, voluntarily they go on giving donations from Bombay, Delhi, Calcutta, etc. So it is approximately 80 to 100 crores recovery expenditure for these children. And we are getting 80, 90 percent from our in house and another 10 to 15 percent from it. But this has also a huge infrastructure. This style of teaching. 30 lakhs per foot is the very high level. And it is not possible to believe that out of 650 crores loan on my head for Kit University, I have spent 250 to 300 crores loan amount to create the infrastructure of entire KISS. It's also a huge infrastructure. And KISS is the first ever tribal university in the entire world, exclusive for the tribal children and fully free and residential. Last year we have brought this university status from the government of India and my dream has come to that. KIT is already university for the last 15 years, but to make one tribal institute the first ever tribal university in this entire world that is fully free, fully residential, exclusive for the poor tribal children. It is also a very good university. So, <clears throat> it has also many good things, I should not tell, because it is, though it is only 20 years old, because 92 started, but 97 is our base here. We started engineering and CMA, the major course. So, 97, 2017, 18, it is 20, 20 years only, self-financing, but it has got all the distinction of hundreds years old university institutes, those who have got yeah. And it is written in this text how this university, even in the Times Higher Education Ranking, this KIIT has got a place 131 plus, and QS Ranking, all accreditation, Government of India, best, one of the best universities, and Government of India has declared last one year that top 60 universities full autonomy. And we are very happy, Kit is also among the top with 26 ranks among all government private, meet IIT, IIT, Bangalore, JNU, Delhi, etc., etc., etc. So we are happy that, and KIT has a huge, we can see just uh, two to three minutes video clippings of KIT, and uh, instead of I am telling so many things. <laughs>
School of Biotechnology, Alipur University, has been declared as the Centre of Excellence by the Department of Biotechnology under the Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of India. On the other hand, the Kid Rock School has achieved the first position in national level moot court competition conducted by the Bar Council of India, both in the year 2013 and 2017. In the globalized academic atmosphere, it <coughs> continues to make its presence felt in the international arena through its collaborations with more than 135 universities across the globe. The scale, the speed, and the skill of growth of it is indeed exemplary. The 27,000 plus national and international students from nearly 40 countries have undergraduate, postgraduate, and PhD programs of several branches and disciplines. It forges ahead to make a mark in the field of innovation, research, international collaboration, and holding national and international conferences. It is perhaps the only university that synergizes academic and human values. The humane case of it is best illustrated through Kalinga Institute of Social Sciences. In fact, it started with a motto to give back to the society. It has a medical college named Kalinga Institute of Medical Sciences with a 2000 bed hospital. This super speciality hospital has a provision to take care of the poorest patient without charging them. The inspiration to make the university what it is today has come from the meticulous planning and determination of its founder, Dr. Ajita Samuka, and his dedicated team of staff members. So, so this is um, all about the civic education things are KIT and so many good things are KIT. With the idea of the technology style. And I have already told how this piece is running also with the help of the industrial control of KIT. I am not confined with this kit and this. <laughs> yeah, God is so kind to me, He has educated so many, so much work through me, which is, of course, first in India, so to say. You will be happy to know that that is the only smart village in the country till today that policy makers I have converted my remote village into a smart village in two sense. And also the entire cluster of village known as Panchayat is the really modern Panchayat. So instead of telling so many things, let us see just two to three minutes video meetings of this smart village. Easily you can understand how uh, these things are possible also. Uh, Located some 22 kilometers away from the city of Qatar, Orissa's cultural and art capital, lies the village Kalarabanka. A few decades ago, life in this non-restricted human settlement was untouched by social and economic development, just like any other village or region. Dr. Samantha constantly remembers the hardship of the poverty-stricken village folk and lack of opportunity for the children to experience the magic touch of the socio-economic development, he founded the Nidimarani Charitable Trust, which undertook the task of modernizing <coughs> the village under the leadership of his very compassionate mother, Mrs. Nidimarani Samanta. He has developed the village into a modern village by providing all modern infrastructural facilities and amenities such as the Citizen Knowledge and Service Center, free Wi-Fi internet access, hundred bedded primary health care center with telemedicine facility. High school in Bernardino, which is the achieving 100% results in all board examinations. CBC affiliated high school in English medium with student strength of over 1,000. Public library with reading room facility. CCTV surveillance throughout the village. Solar power plant for electricity generation. Self-help group for economic uplift of women. 
safe drinking water supply to every household in the village. Conquering all weather rebels. with locker and ATM facility. A temple complex to nurture spiritual activities among the villagers, post office and police outposts. A community committee hall and canteen. A youth club for youth development. Women Committee for Empowering Women Street Lighting with LED Lamps With all these facilities, today, life in Kalaramanko village is not the same anymore. So, thank you very much, uh, So now I have to complete my things uh, as I... Uh, I have been given up to 730 time. Because <laughs> there is a hope for future. So I will shortcut my entire things. So you will be happy to know that I have a tremendous contribution in the field of sports. We have produced more than 5,000 sports personnel from the Kiss children. Those are playing state level, national level, and the international level games and athletes. We have also produced Olympia. Recently, we must have seen the Duti Chan brought the two silver medals and four students from KISS itself participated in SERDA. So I produced the children um, for SER community, all these things, and so many things are <coughs> going on as one thing. Then I am also engaged in many type of social reform of things also I have been doing. And I have also tremendous contribution in art, literature, culture, feeling, uh, everything I produced the two three feelings of the national feeling, of course, Odia and also running the two magazines and everything. <coughs> and lastly, I should come to the conclusion that is, as I have written from the beginning, pain in the past, passion in the present, and hope for the future. But I am a bachelor. I, I, I live very simple life. A few other people know <coughs> it in a two-bedroom rented house. Nobody will find anything in my name, not a single piece of land or single bank or anything else in my life. My happiness is the happiness of the poor children. And I am totally dedicated to the social cause. I have been doing for the last approximately 27 and 30 years. And as I am a bachelor and my, I am totally dedicated to this cause, I will be doing these things till my last breath. That is my policy. And I have been already testified, verified by all the people across the globe, those who know me, that these persons cannot be dedicated from this but now I am 54. So already I have attended here. So that's why we uh, will have to know that uh, besides so many things, but only one thing uh, is will be expanded like anything. Because you know, whatever we have been practicing for the last 27 years, now enter war with preaching, poverty alienation, hunger alienation through quality education. Be it the sustainable development goal of objectives of the event. Be the Prime Minister of India, any Prime Minister of India, any country, everybody is now clamoring poverty, alienation, hunger, alienation through education, which we have been doing this for the last. That's why uh, it is exclusively we have started. When I started, I thought poorest of the poor. In those days, poorest of the poor are in Taiwan. So, Kish Dindi is also running, and I will be engaged with this. I have given a slogan just like. Zero hunger, zero poverty, zero interest, which is not possible here. But as I am dedicated to this part, I will be doing like this till my last week, whatever is possible, I will be doing. And now I have started <laughs> requesting because I cannot do, uh, because whatever I have to do, I have already done through KISS. Now I have started begging or requesting the corporate business house, everything, uh, to support me to <coughs> expand the KISS activities in Odisha, particularly in other states. And I am so happy, though I have no districts. Every district, 20 districts, it is coming, 10 districts is coming this May, June, academic session already work is over, infrastructure. For kids, kids, kids. kids, kids. There is no expansion of kids anywhere. It is only in Bhubaneswar and it will be in Bhubaneswar. So 
So I am happy that many corporates have come forward also to support the keys in different districts. So once again, I thank you very much uh, for giving me a patient hearing and everything and thanks to our S. Bhakar Naranji for allowing me to stand here and to uh, speak to all of you. I have brought also one small beautiful painting which because life, skill education is very big in kids. For the condition of the children. Every child has to accept any one thing, either sports games or the skill education or cultural activity. It's a mind-blowing thing God has been learning for the last 27 years. So I have also brought a very beautiful painting for all of you present here as a token of my regards and token of memory for all of you. It is done by the, our tribal children. So this is all about my things I should stop here. And anything, if you have things, I will explain. Thank you very much, Anshu. <laughs> you have talk, talked about yourself. You have seven siblings. How are they placed now? Seven, your seven siblings. With God's grace, all the brothers and sisters are well placed. Four sisters, three brothers. So, out of, out of four sisters, all of them are married. They lead this simple life with their family. And three brothers, one is LIC officer retired, one is bank officer, I am the youngest one. So you will be happy to know that no brother sisters involved in kid and kids. They are not even allowed to come to campus ever. They only know from the newspapers. It is not a family business. That's why KIT is the only university in the country where the Chancellor post has been occupied by the renowned academician since his inception like UGC chairman. We had Hari Gautam UGC chairman was for six years, but now Bethpal has been also UGC chairman. So that is very good decision. All brothers and sisters are okay with that. Sir, as you shown in your this, you are feeding 50,000 tribal children. So the question, how many children are now still depriving from this kids benefits or the benefits from the government? How many? Now, you see, I have asked the right questions. Because of globalization and many developments are going on, now the Odisha has also become the most happening state and developing state than the non-happening state. Now, government of Odisha and government of India also are taking many measures to take the tribal children for their education, decent life, etc. coming up. And still, children are deprived, but the craze for kids is different. Suppose we do admission to thousand every year. We are getting 50,000 applications per year. So what is the criteria? Much below poverty line. Because KISS gives a complete solution. Once they join, and you can see the environment, the ambience, the status, and the people they used to have every alternative. Suppose today was the Monitor Governor, Dr. Nazma Abdullah. Before three days was the present American ambassador to India was there also. Every time, there are people they are meeting and, and excel like they travel the entire world. 20 countries my kids children uh, have traveled in sports and athletics. And any Malala, Delhi, New York, anything. All even the agencies are tied up with kids. All world agency. All these things I have mentioned in this my presentation. So there are many different children skills. But government has been taking care of nowadays you know the government is very aggressive also for these things. But still, every child craves how to enter into KISS. That's why we are getting 50,000 applications. That's why I am opening the branch of KISS in 20 tribal districts. Already 10 will be functional from this coming academic session. Yeah, please. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. Excuse me. Excuse me. Stand up. I'm somebody hearing from Odisha. I'm proud of you. Unfortunately, I have not mastered much in the world. But the small query, when uh, this new great concept from KG to PG in KIS, right? And you also run a world class you know, institute like the KIP, which offers you engineering and human sciences. Is there any scope for these tribal children studying in KIS? Two, 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 two migrate. And you have to keep how many of them have become engineers in the Thank you very much for asking this question. I have to explain all these things in my presentation. Because of paucity of time, I could not explain anything. You will be happy to know that. KG to PG. 
after 12th board art science commerce. Five percent in the kit university for the 25 optional course reserved for the key sport children again. Total now 2,000 including this year 350. 2,000 poor children of KISS are getting professional education in KIT University and also getting placement and will be surprised. I am giving two medical seats every year to the KISS children again. It is free per se. So two, of now 350 children are in the KIT University from the KISS. Total 2,000 children in the last 12 years have been passed out. From the Kate University. And I have got a small suggestion. I think uh, next time when you prepare a film like this, my suggestion will be why don't you really present those people who have become successful and have come out of Kish and their interviews and what exactly they are doing, all where these they are doing the best. I already made all subscribe, all these things are here because it is not possible. Okay, okay. There are so many. Steve also subscribed. And I have given you some uh, just very small material. And this is one KISS profile I have given. Everything is mentioned in this KISS profile. All achievements and everything. So it's very small. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, sir. That is the last question because we have one more engagement. Yes. Sir, I have one question, Mr. Samantha. That as your KISS students, are going very higher side in medical and other things. Are they going for the higher studies like IES, IPS and this type of things? Our kids children have qualified all the parameters except Indian civil service. They entered into IIT, IIM, Odisha civil service known as OS. All, all, anything, be it uh, defense, uh, army, air force, all service they got into. Kids children. Kids children. Kids children, the they are topper in Indian engineering service. They are ninth position in Indian civil service. Kids students, so they are like anything. They, and we have produced other pen from the Kids University, Kids University. So kids children have entered into all services except Indian civil service. And you should know all the children are fast learners in their family. Whatever you have seen in my childhood, these children are also that type of childhood in their own thing. Bringing them as the first learners, non-meritorious poor, making them meritorious. That is the main thing. Thank you. Yeah, last question. Samantha sir, आपके प्रयासों से रुचि चांद को दो करोड़ रुपया वहाँ की state government ने दिया है. तीन करोड़ तीन करोड़ तीन करोड़ रुपया. तो ये बहुत आपने बहुत प्रयास किए मैंने देखा भी है. दूसरा ये सर आपके यहाँ corporate sector के कुछ कुछ ऐसी हस्ती IT में corporate sector में कि जो फ्री बनों के हॉलिडे होते हैं तो आपके यहाँ जाके बच्चों को ट्रेन कर सकती है ऐसा कुछ सब है सब है कुछ और भी आना चाहे तो हाँ आते सारा वर्ल्ड से आते हैं सारा वर्ल्ड से बच्चे आते हैं मैं ये डिफरेंट यूज़ तू डू दी इंटर्नशिप इन किस बिकॉज़ ऐसे जगह वो लोग मिलेगा नहीं इसलिए सब � he will be with us, you can meet him informally and it's one of the finest institutions I have seen. I have travelled yeah. to many countries, I have seen Oxford, Harvard and you name it. But I have not seen 50,000 kids at one place, thousands of people playing games and all that. It's worth a visit. And thank you very much uh, Dr. Samantha for coming. We pleased to present you in the honorary membership of our club. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, I have to present you with a specially designed mark to celebrate the 60th anniversary of uh, uh, the part of our sponsor. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. May I ask my father something? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.